take your note cards, you lay them all out on your desk, and then eventually we're going to group them into light categories. And then from there, you're going to be able to create an outline based on your light categories. So I have my note cards that are like all food products. Um, so I'm going to put these up on the board, and then we're going to group them kind of together, and then you're going to group yours, and it's kind of like an interactive sort of deal. Um, so if you want to lay your note cards out while I tape mine on the board. You guys good? Cool. So now you're going to start looking at your note cards and you're going to start finding similarities um, between the, the note cards that you have out on your desk. So for example, I have orange juice and I have milk. They're both beverages. So I'm going to put them together, say over here. Okay. So I have a beverage pile. I have cupcakes and I have brownies, which are both desserts. So they're like those guys over here. Um, strawberry, banana, they're both fruits. The buy oranges, which is also a fruit. Okay. Oh, here's cookies. You can go on my dessert pile. Pickles, broccoli, vegetables. So they're alike. They're similar. Here's another fruit. Some more beverages that I have. I have some main dishes here. Does that kind of make sense? Okay, so you can do that with your note cards now. So in your groups would obviously be sections of your paper. So I might write a section on fruit. Okay, it's just easier to, to write and to make an outline when you have everything organized in your The next step is to give labels to each of your categories that you have sorted out. So over here I have some beverages. In my paper, this would be my heading. And then I would talk about all five of my beverages. I have desserts. I have main dishes. Vegetables and fruits. Um, so, if you want to go ahead and kind of give a name to your categories, your groupings that you have, either on your Chromebooks or on a piece of paper, <laughs> um, you're going to actually start writing your outline. I'm going to move some of these. So the very first thing, you always start out with a number, Roman numeral actually, if you want to get all specific. The very first thing that you're going to talk about is going to be your introduction. You probably don't have note cards that you're going to use yet for your intro, and that's totally fine. <clears throat> We're going to talk about a few things in your intro. Um, so after you write down introduction, tab in and type a capital letter A, or write however you're doing it. You're going to have some background information. And you're going to have a thesis statement. Roman numeral two um, is going to be the first subtopic or topic, I guess, um, that you're going to talk about in your paper. So this is kind of where organization comes in. What do you think you should talk about first? What makes most sense to talk about first? 
if we're looking at my food categories, what do you think I should talk about first in my research paper? Which would be the logical one? Like you sit down at a restaurant, what's the first thing that the waiter asks you? Beverages. And then I have five of them. So I'm going to A, B, C, D, E. I will list them under beverages. I might even organize them one more way. I might do juices. Okay, and then other, I guess. So maybe I want to do this. So I organized juice and then I little a, another tab in, lemonade and orange juice. So within my beverage category, those two are similar. So then I split those apart one more, one more split, I guess. So in my other category, I have milk, water, and tea. Does that kind of make sense to take your categories and split them even down a little bit farther? Okay. After beverages, what do you think I should, uh, what should go next in my paper? So I'll do Roman numeral three. Main dishes. Again, capital letters, A, B, C, so on and so forth. The last category that you're going to have is your conclusion. So, I guess. Um, just put it here. Uh, what kind of information should we put in a conclusion? Whoops. You're going to summarize the stuff that you, uh, mm -hmm. you're going to summarize your paper, pick out the main points. Um, this is why whatever side you're arguing is the case because of point A, B, C. Restate your thesis, which could very well be in your summary, just depending on how you do it. Once you have your outline, I don't remember when I have it too, but once you have your outline done, um, I will open up a portal on Google Classroom so you can submit it. I would like to talk to you about it at some point next week. Um, but once you have your outline done, you can start writing. Because you have your, you have your order, you have everything that you need to start actually writing this essay.